So, I'm excited. You can probably tell from my face. I'm at the home of Autotrail, the factory in Grimsby, where they make the van conversions, the coach-built motorhomes. I'm right here today, and I've been invited to come and have a look at the brand new van, the Expedition 68. So, I'm really excited to be here. I'm at Auto Trails headquarters in Grimsby in the northeast of England. Really excited. This is where they turn all the vans, they take all the vans or the, the chassis and turn them into motorhomes or camper vans. Really exciting. So, this is the home of Auto Trail. And the reason I'm here today is we actually got our van, our van's across this way having its first service. So, Auto Trail very kindly invited us to come and see this new van. The nice people have been watching our videos and they know that if you know watching our videos, you know that I like mountain biking, a um, particular hobby of mine done it for many years, I won't say how many, um, but they invited us to come look at this brand new van for 2022. This is the Auto Trail Expedition 68. It's a brand new van. This is the, the first one. Uh, this is their vehicle. So they'd like to come to have a look at it today and to see what it's all about. And you'll see why I'm so excited about it when I show you the inside. For those expecting to see Molly and Caroline in this video, don't worry, they will feature in this video towards the end. Caroline couldn't be here today because she's working and Molly generally doesn't want to come look at new vans. It's just the way she is. So uh, I'll hopefully introduce them to this van online later as part of this video. So first of all, it's, first, it's on the new Series 8 Ducato. It's the brand new Fiat Ducato. So you'll see the differences inside the cab, but there are some differences on the front end as well. You can see there's a different grille. For those who understand the Fiat um, Ducato, the old model, this is a brand new design for the front. Looks similar, but very different grille on here. And it has the Expedition badging on it too. And obviously the Auto Trail signature branding on the roof as well at the top of the van. So very subtle changes to the front, but it definitely looks different. Compare it side by side to my van, which is also here today. Um, it looks very different. Sorry, I keep getting distracted. There's loads of vans from driving around, brand new ones. There's not a Trail Expedition 67 just gone past as well. Um, but just to show you the front, this side, new badging. This has got the brand new Fiat engine in it as well. Uh, 140 brake multi-jet three. This is a 2.2. The current or outgoing model is a 2.3. So it's a new engine as well for the Series 8 Ducato too. So that's another difference on the outside. So if I start at the back of the van, you've got a window at the top up here, and I'll show you what that's for in a second when we go inside. So one window there, then blank space here, the reason for that, and then a window here, a big window here. Also on the side of the van, you've got a cassette toilet. We'll look at that in more detail in a second because that's brand new. And obviously you've got your outlets for your fresh water and your waste down there as normal. And also on this Ducato, because it's a long wheelbase, you get the side running lights too which come on when you put your lights on, which are really cool. Electric socket, as you always get on this side. You need to be able to connect up your electric, is on there too. So nice and clean. One thing that's missing on this side of the van compared to our van that's different is there's no exhaust or extractor or outlet for the Truma because this van has a whale heating system on it. The whale system is underslung, it's undermounted. So actually, its exhausts come out the outside of the van on the bottom, so you don't see them. Nice and neat. Nice and clean lines down the side of the van. Also, you've got these cool graphics. So this is the Expedition graphics. It flows nicely with the windows, you can see it, and it finishes the van off nicely. So really nice on the driver's side. So moving to the passenger side of the van, you can see this side, there's no windows on the back here. Again, I'll show you why in a second when we go inside. And this side, you've got the window in the sliding door. So the similar, similar to you see on a normal V-line van. Again, this side, you've got your water inlet for putting your fresh water into here, with your tank. And you've got your fuel flap also for putting in your fuel and your add blue as well in there. Something missing from this side of the van again, compared to the My Adventure or the older vans, is there's no vents for the fridge. So normally you'd have a vent here and a vent here for the fridge um, for obviously venting it. But this van has the new latest 12 volt fridge inside it. So we'll take a look at that as well as we go. So clean lines on both sides of the van. So this van's got alloy wheels. These aren't standard. These are an option on this particular one. This has been fitted to them. Um, but I'll go through the pricing and all the options and standard spec towards the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. So this is the rear of the van. You can see it's got the high level brake light up there. And then it's got the windows both sides and both of the barn doors. It's got opening barn doors as well. And this is a special part of the van. Again, I'll come on to that in a second when I get towards the inside. But you'll see why the Expedition 68 is so cool 
particularly if you're a mountain biker or road cyclist, it's got some really good features designed specifically for that sport. So just before we move to the inside of the van, just one final point to show you, this van is a pop top. So like the Adventure, this van has the option of a pop top roof. So again, I'll go through the price of that towards the end of the video, but it's got a full pop top roof and it's a brand new roof for 2022. So I'll show you how that works. In fact, we'll pop it up now so you can take a look at it. And then we'll take a look inside the van. So normally this is the bit that Caroline would do inside, but she's not here today, so I'll have to do it for you, I'm afraid. So I'll try and get her in the video at the end, I promise. So inside, let's have a look inside. This is the exciting bit for me. So the van inside, you can see, nice and open, big sliding door. We'll take you inside the van so you can see it. But it's nice and airy, nice and light, really nice finish to it as well. So let's go and have a look inside. So the inside of the van is very similar to be perfectly honest to our adventure, this front of it. So you've got the front dinette with two seats. You've got table that drops up from the floor and you've got the two captain seats which both swivel on this van as well. One thing I'll say on this van, and I'll probably repeat it a few times in the video, it's fantastic value for money. You look at the starting price point, which I say I'll talk about towards the end, it's unbelievable the amount of spec the Autotrail have put in this van as standard. It's really, really well equipped. It's a great van if you want to start off getting your first camper van, or you want to add bits to it, it's factory, it's really, really well equipped. So I'll take you inside and I'll show you around. Um, inside, you've got plenty of storage at the front, which we'll look at. Um, and we'll also look at, obviously, the important pop top and then the magic area at the back. So you can see the chairs swivel around, both the passenger and the driver's seat swivel around. So the passenger does exactly the same thing as well. So then you've got your full area for your dinette. I've just folded the table down, it goes down flat as well there. So you've got full access for seating for four people. Very similar to the Adventure and the V-Line van range uh, for Auto Trail. Blinds, this one's got blinds in it as well, which are built into the windows, which are cool. You've got fly screen at the bottom, at the top, sorry. And then you've also got the blinds, if you scroll the other way full blackout blinds in there too, which are really cool. Um, oh, you can open them like that. And the window's open as well there, so you've got plenty of air. Really good, nice position, nice to be sat in to have your dinner and eat out. You've got the sliding door open, you can see all around you. As I mentioned outside, this van's fitted with the whale heating system, hot water and heating system. And this is a control panel for, panel for it up here. You still see you've got the stickers on, it's, uh, it's obviously brand new, but a nice touch control panel. You've got the ability to change both on there. Really simple and straightforward to use. Next to that, you've got a light switch, which controls the cab lights. And then you've also got your auto trail control panel. Again, very similar to control your lights, your power, uh, and also your water pump as well there too. So also in the front, you've got lockers, which are here above the, uh, the dinette area. Really good sized lockers. They've got positive locking catches on when you're traveling. You've got loads of space and room in there. We find these brilliant in our uh, in our van, plenty of space both sides. Your solar control panel is also in there as well. This van is fitted as standard with a solar panel, roof mounted solar panel, which is fantastic, but a really good addition. Under the seats, I'll just move that round. The table just flips up like this, really simple. But under the seats here, the two passenger seats, so it's a, it's a four seat van with four belted seat belts. So you can travel with four people. It's obviously four berth. I'll pull that up. Underneath, you've got your storage area. But this van actually has the battery in here as well. So you've got the battery here, uh, which in, my van is in the rear, in the, in the V-line is at the back, but it's in the front here. There's a reason for that. There's also space here for a second battery. And it's already just to drop a second battery in. If you wanted a, a second ledger battery, you can put one straight in there as well. And you've got the heating system that comes through and out into the van too. So you've got the kitchen area, which is very similar, exactly the same as, the, uh, as ours in the Adventure. So you've got the ability to have sink on this side and then double gas burner hob on this side over here too. You've got positive locking catches on your drawers as well, which is nice and neat. And then you've got drawer space there. And this also has the warming oven too. So if we move from the dinette at the front and I put the camera straight up, hopefully you can see this is popped up. So again, full size double bed popped up up in the roof. It's a brand new roof for 2022. Um, very similar to the other one, but it's slightly, slightly modified. Uh, and again, you've got access to go up here via a ladder, which hooks on and you've got ventilation on the sides, uh, and obviously you can see out as well, which is really cool. And it closes in the same way. It has a net for children, so you don't fall out. Something else that's really good, you've got these lights. Now these are fantastic. You've got 
USB lights, which are obviously good for reading in the night and the dark and getting to bed, but also you've got USB charging points on them. And you've got one on this side and one on this side as well. So there's two there. On the other side of the van, there's another one here, here as well. So exactly the same. These catches are actually safety catches. For when the roof is closed, the roof comes down and latches onto this point here. And these are safety catches as a secondary backup that also clips into it to make sure the roof never opens while you're, while you're traveling. So it's very secure. So this van has the open front, so there's no nothing to bash your head on. Some of the older vans in the 2019, 2020 model years had the bulkhead over here. This van's open, so you've got much more headroom. And something else that's really cool, it has lights built into it as well, which are really nice. Um, so you've got nice ambient lighting when you're sat up front as well. So this is the brand new Fiat cab. This is the new steering wheel, new audio controls on the wheel, new, new controls. It's a really nicely finished front cab. Um, you see it's got different um, vents as well, more like car-like, and this model's fitted with the Exen head unit. You've also got air conditioning on it as standard, which is fantastic for this price van, and your heater controls there as well. Um, and you've got a 12 volt socket, and you've also got USB charging socket there too. Um, so very similar. And down the bottom, you've got all important cup holders for your cup of coffee. This is the manual six speed. Um, but it's a really, really much transformed front end on the Ducato cab. This is a Series 8. Won't go into too much detail on this video. Hopefully we'll get to drive one in the near future. I'll be able to talk to you properly about it. But I'll show you very quickly because it has some new features and new screens as well. So just to show you what it looks like when you turn the dash on. It's got a brand new dash. All new dials and controls. Shows the new Fiat logo on there as well. You can see very much more like a car. Much more car-like. Nice finished steering wheel, nice controls much more car-like than van-like. On this one, this one's fitted with the cab blinds. These are really nice. They scroll up from the bottom. Scroll. They pull up from the bottom um, so you can go all the way to the top. And then you've also got them on the side of the cabs as well, on the, on the side windows too. They're an option. So one of the benefits of having this size van is you get a bathroom, which is absolutely brilliant. So we'll have to take a look inside the bathroom. It's actually got a wet room. This is brand new again for Auto Trail. This is a full wet room. So you've got a sink built into the corner, and then you've also got a bench style toilet as well down there too. So there's plenty of room, um, and obviously for showering, uh, very easy to do. You just attach the shower up to the top up there, if you can see that. Um, but a really neat bathroom. On the final version, um, I believe there's going to be a window there, which I'll try and put a picture in to show you what it looks like, um, which would be in the side of the van. That's a really good addition. It lets the van obviously vent the uh, sort of the, the bathroom much better um, than just venting into the van. So that's something that's coming. But you've got the toilet, sink, mirror, really useful. And then you've got some storage on the right-hand side as well. So a very good functional, practical bathroom. Very good if you're covered in mud, for example, or similar things, and I'll show you why. So, what's the exciting bit, you may ask? It looks very similar up front to the rest of the van. What makes this van so different? Let me show you. So, ready for this grand unveil? Spin the camera around. So, it has, ta-da, a fixed bed. A fixed bed, you may ask, in a van? That's nothing new. Ah, but what's most important is what's underneath it, which again, I will show you in a second. So, to access the back, you've got a ladder to climb up to the bed there, which is really handy, really neat. So you've got a neat little ladder. And then you've got this really comfy bed and mattress. Really, really comfortable. Um, really good size. You've got the ability to sleep, obviously, that way, across the van, or down this way, whichever way your preference is. Um, ladder for the roof is just over on the left-hand side. And you've got two lockers in the back here as well, which is really handy. And you'll see behind that curtain over there, that's the little window on the outside, the tinted window. So you've still got plenty of natural light coming into here, which is fantastic. In the back, you've got privacy from the rear doors with that curtain or that sort of um, fabric area to give you complete privacy. So you've got a nice sleeping area too. Down lighters as well. And I also spotted a 12 volt socket in the back for charging too, just around there, you can see. So really nice strip lighting at the top again as well. So it's pl plenty of light in there. On the right hand side, either side, you've got Storage space, again, really loads of storage in this van, which is fantastic. 
So you've got shelves in there, which are really usable. Much prefer shelves to, to a wardrobe, but if you do prefer a wardrobe, on this side, you do have a rail at the top up there. Um, and you also have these shelves which can be removed and you can hang stuff if you wanted to as well. But also, it's got the shelves in there, which I think are much more useful. My clothes are always folded. I never hang anything up, as you can probably tell from our videos. Um, but yeah, so you've got two storage either side and two wardrobes. Just moving back slightly, I'll show you the fridge. I love this fridge. It's a 12 volt fridge. It doesn't run on gas. It's the latest technology. Obviously with the latest technology, it means that it can use less power. So it can run on 12 volt without flattening your battery. So you can go off grid with it for much longer. Um, you don't have to worry about running out of gas. It gives you much more independence. Um, normal size, opens up, you've got a full size fridge. I like the way it's at this height as well. It's something that Caroline really wanted on our van, which we don't have, it's on the bottom, but really good feature. Brilliant feature as well is that you don't have to put, plug your van in the night before. Often when we go away on a trip, I'll plug the van in the night before and set it all up so that basically the fridge is cold before we set off the next day. It just means you have a lot of half faff unplugging and unplugging your cable in, depending on where it is in your house. So with this, you can just turn it on the night before on 12 volt, then in the morning, come and load all your goodies, your food, your drink, your beer, obviously, most important, um, and then you can just head off on your adventure. So a really good feature. This is standard on this model as well. So just to show you below the fridge, you've got storage again, you've got these drawers here. There's four drawers, absolutely stacks of storage on this van. Um, so all you have to do is remove the ladder, which is done clips, then just move, put it onto the bed, out the way, when you're obviously not in bed, and then access your drawers. Really nice, easy to use. And then also you've got access from here to under the bed. Let's take a quick look before we go and look at it properly. Oh, just a quick look. So you've got access both sides. If you want to get to the, the boot area, the garage area, should we call it, you can do, really simple. Very neat. Right, I'm back outside again to show you the garage area, which is absolutely fantastic. This is the single most thing that would make me buy this van. Rear doors as normal, barn doors, open them up, and inside you can see full garage space. Now what makes this so unique you can actually fit in these trays four bikes, four full-size mountain bikes, road bikes, whatever you want in, these, in this back of this van. Completely hidden, completely safe, completely protected from the outside. So if you've got an expensive bike, some bikes cost upwards of 10 grand now, you can store them safely inside the van without anybody else being able to see them, keep them all nice and dry and safe, keep it in the living room like I do at home sometimes before Caroline tells me off. Um, if you've got bikes, it's fantastic, really, really clever. So, I'll show you how it works. So, how does it work? Well, the van has available with these trays. You can specify them as an option. So you've got one tray this side, which will take two bikes, and one tray this side, which will take two bikes. So four bikes in total. You can also get these, these optional clamps, which basically, you take your front wheel off on your bike, and the front fork clamps onto this. And the bike stays completely safe and rigid in the van. It doesn't fall around or damage anything. Fantastic design. But these, these are really real, well designed as well. They come out on runners, so they roll out real lovely and smooth, like you'd expect on a high-end kitchen. Um, and these trays that sit, again, so if your bike's dirty, muddy, etc., it'll all sit in this tray. And then you put your bike on, attach it in, takes two seconds, take your wheel off, clamp it in, and then slide it back in. Hopefully I'll be able to show you that in a second with a demo bike too. But it's so neat and so well finished. Um, I've seen a lot of people, guys, design these, um, you know, or, or girls, mountain bikers, um, put them into the back of their vans. They've had these trays that they've designed themselves. This is a factory you know, option. You can get this factory option from, from Autotrail. So it's really been designed by people who know a lot about bikes and, and sort of mountain biking and road cycling. It's really clear and evident from that. Um, but it's not just the bike storage. You've also got storage for all your bits too. So we'll take a look at that. So one thing that's really cool as well in the garage, you've got the lights. You've got these lights all the way along uh, both sides. There's plenty of light to see what you're doing. Well, this is better than my garage at home, to be honest. Um, you've got plenty of storage space on the shelf here to put any of your clothes, your helmets, etc. And you've got these storage areas down here too, with these cool bungees to hold stuff in. Um, on the left-hand side, you've got your gas locker. So this takes gas bottles in here. Um, obviously, you can you can replace them and get them from there. Key on the side. And then on this side, again, you've got more storage space here to put in things into, and on top as well. And then what else is really cool on this one? Inside this here 
you've actually got a water container. So if you've got a mountain bike and you've been off mud, off roading and covered in mud, and you've got a 12 volt compressor jet wash, you can plug it straight in, and you've got your own water supply in here for your mountain bike to clean it off, or your road bike if you've got salt on it or something like that. So it's been really, really well thought out. But it's a fantastic space, completely separate to the bed area. So you've got your bed above, and then you've got the garage below with your bike area, and it's really, really well finished. Can't stress that enough. So to access the water container is really straightforward. Just press these buttons at the bottom here and then just literally remove that panel and you've got access to your water container. You've got a 30 litre container there. So you've got extra water. It doesn't take off your normal water tank. You've got it specifically for extra water storage for your mountain bike. Absolutely fantastic. And you've got shelf storage space there as well. I particularly love all the storage in this van. It's got so much for putting your kit in. If you can see in the back there as well, you've got nice deep storage there too. You can see down there. So you've got storage space, there's your light switch for the control panel. And also in the back as well, if you do have e-bikes, I mean these trays take up to 50 kilos, uh, which is massive. If you do have e-bikes um, as well, there's actually in the back, you've got a socket as well, a three pin socket. So everything you could need in a garage. This is a proper, a proper garage area. Just like mine at home, but better. So when you put your bikes away, you finished, finished playing or riding, just shut the door and they're completely secure. This is the bit I love about this van. So say, some of the bikes people ride are really expensive. Even if they're not expensive, you still like to look after your bike. Unfortunately, quite often they're stolen, you know, or a target for thieves, even on the back of your, or the back of your motorhome. But in here, they're completely hidden. So if you've got a really expensive bike, you can put it in here safely, lock the van and know it's secure. You've got your own secure parking. Um, completely invisible from the outside. You've got that, obviously that cover, the fabric on the back there, and obviously you've got the blinds too if you wanted to give it even more privacy too. So really clever design and really well built. Just a couple of other points to note. You can get the heating ducts for the whale heating, they come out there and there. You've also got one in the bathroom and you've also got one in the garage. So you can dry your kit out in the garage using the system as well, which is fantastic. So not only has it got a garage, it's got a heated garage. Another feature I really like, Ultra Trail have been very clever with the design of where they put all the sort of the, the gubbins, the, the bits you need to make the van work. So behind this panel, you've got, you can see there, you've got your charging control panel unit there, your charging unit, and you've got your fuse panel as well. So that, and my van is in the rear under the passenger seat, so it takes up a space. But here it's neatly hidden under this panel, which is really cool. So it doesn't sit in the garage in the way of the bikes or any, any sort of water or wet stuff. It's all neatly out of the way and easy to access as well with this panel. Nice touch. Again, the finish and fit of the, uh, the sort of kitchen and the furniture and stuff is typical auto trail fashion. It's really well built. Something that made us, made us buy our van compared to the other brands was the, the finish. And this is no different, even though it's the entry level model. So you open this van up. Oh, I'm sorry, you open up this, uh, this, this space, extra cooking space on the side as well. Really nice finish, nice and light colours, really bright and airy, but it's got a really modern finish to the, uh, so the, the overhead lockers too. I really like the interior design on it. And it's got the cloth seats, but they look really nice. So you've got the seats that match the front seats as well. So everything matches nicely finished. So I hope you enjoyed the first look around this van as much as I have. Really exciting to be here today and see this van. Um, hopefully in the future, we might even get a chance to try it and test it for real life. Um, fingers crossed, depends how well we behave. But I've been really impressed with this in terms of value for money, but also in terms of how it's specifically been designed from the ground up for cyclists, mountain bikers, right at the forefront of your mind. Um, it's got loads of really good features specifically for that. I think it'd be a really user-friendly van.
Hello, I am back from Auto Trail. And I am here. Caroline's here. Promised you, if you wait to the end, she would be in the video, so there you go. Well, well, well I mean, I hope you wait to the end, otherwise I'm massively <laughs> offended. Yeah, and Molly will be in it in a second too. She's done here somewhere, but you can't quite see her on camera. She'll be in. Mm. So, how did you get on Auto Trail? It was very exciting. Yeah, really good van. You know, for me, fantastic. It's a mountain bike. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of good features. What do you think of it so far from the pictures I showed you and the footage I've shown you of editing the video? Um, yeah, it looks really good, uh, really similar to our van, um, lots of similar features, um, you know, obviously it is based on the same van with the pop top. Um, I'm not sure on the rear lounge, yeah. um, you know, not having one and it being a fixed bed, um, for me I prefer that, but I think for somebody like yourself who's ultra precious about their mountain bikes and about their kit, that's why, although you like to take them, we don't take them because we've got nowhere to store them and he doesn't want to leave them outside. They're way too precious <laughs> for that. So I think, for, you know, if you're like Ian and you like to know when you've gone to bed that your stuff is safely locked indoors, then um, it's really good. Um, yeah, that's a fair, fair, fair point. I mean, the build, the base van, the build is very similar to ours. So you're getting so much, I said this constantly for that video, so much value for money. Mm. Um, so no, I think that's a really good point. Um, I'll go through some of the spec. Yeah. I mean, the, the most important thing with the van is in starting price. I mean, it starts, the Expedition 68 is a range of vans. So you've got the Expedition 66, 67, 68. The 68 is the new one for 2022. And the starting price is 42,538. Wow. That doesn't include a pop top, so that's before. That's just a standard van. So how much is it with the pop top then? Uh, I'll find that out for you in one second. So I'm sorry. I'm here. No, I it's think fine. Ahead. No, it's fine. <laughs> um, but that is for the base price of the van. But the good thing with that is you can build then up to what spec you want. You can add the bits and pieces on. So if you want alloys, if you wanted the front windscreen blinds, that kind of thing, you can add it all. Whereas our van is a top of the range, but it comes with everything a standard. Mm. This is a you know a sort of the entrance level model, but you can add the bits to it as you want to make it your own individual van. But as I say, value for money, 42,538. You compare that to pretty much anything else in the market. Yeah. Um, I know the Expedition Range won awards for its uh, value for money. Two or four berth, obviously with the pop top makes it four berth. 140 brake engine as standard. It's the long wheelbase van, so 6.36 meter. And it's got four belted seats, which makes it absolutely fantastic, doesn't it? For... Yeah, that's good. Because a lot. I remember when we were looking, a lot that we looked at, they had four... Like four berths, you could sleep with four people, but only two travel seats or only two seat belts. <laughs> What's the point? Exactly, yeah. And just to confirm the price for the roof, as you asked me for. Sorry. That's fine. If you wanted to add the pop top roof, that costs you £5,500. Oh. So 5500 on top of your 42 takes you to about 47 48 um, before anything else. So, really, really good again value. It gives that choice of two berth, four berth, so you can add things in. So alloy wheels, another option on, the, on that van that we saw on the video, £672. Um, is that a standard price for alloy wheels? I don't know what alloy wheels cost. Yeah, it's pretty good because you I mean, yeah, you, you normally pay that on a, on a car or pay more of that on a car. If you normally upgrade the wheels, it's more expensive. Um, the good thing with the price is as well, it tells you how much weight it adds to each of the options you add onto them. So if you add the roof, it tells you how much weight that adds. How much does it weigh? 126 kilograms. Oh. Hmm. Another option you saw on there, on the video, was the slide-out garage trays. Um, and they are £295 each and they weigh 15 kilograms. They're fantastic, really, really good. Um, really impressed with that. How many would you recommend having in the van? For me, two. <laughs> so many bags in his bikes. That's yeah. not taking anybody with him. No, you, I mean, it depends what you want them for. I mean, if you, put, if you put one in to start with, you can fit two bikes into one. Okay. So it's quite good, depends on how many people you want. How to many take bikes do you think you'd fit in? To, would you fit in? Four. You would fit in four bikes comfortably. Yeah, the two bikes in the video were full-size mountain bikes, like literally full-size, massively wide handlebars. I think one was an extra large frame. Uh, one was a 29er, so mountain bike technology, terminology, sorry. But they were both full-size full, full -size mountain bikes. And you could easily fit two and two in there, so four in total. Okay, well, that's good then. So all the people you can take with you, yeah. you can sleep, can take a bike. Yeah, it'd be good for using it uh, you know, for friends and family as well. So it's a real versatile van. You can use it for so much mm. more. It comes with the kitchen, separate oven grill, 12 volt refrigerator. I love the fridge on this van. 12 volt refrigerator, really, really useful. Um, basically, the 12 volt fridge ones without gas, as I said in the video, that's on it as standard. Right, so start at the front. The cab is a brand new Series 8 Ducato, as I said in the video. Brand new interior, new controls, new steering wheel, um, new grill. And it's also got, but it still has got the same features as standard. It's a brand new engine as well, 2.2, 140 breaker standard. Still got cruise control, electric windows, ABS, usual stuff you get. 
uh, remote central locking, um, and when you lock the vehicle and unlock it, it turns the lights on on the side. Mm -hmm. It's really neat and, and fancy. Yeah, it's got blinds uh, in the back of the vehicle, the habitation area. Uh, the front cab blinds are optional extras, if you want those. Um, also, in terms of optional extras, if you wanted to have radio uh, on there as well, you can order that as an option. Um, so it lets you build the van to, to as a spec as you want. It doesn't have the underslung tank like on the V-Line or like on our Adventure. It has two six, six kilogram bottles that go in the back of that storage area I showed, so you can change them in the back. Um, I'll change it for gas low if you wanted to. Or well, if there's any questions you've got on it, just drop us a comment below and we'll answer them, answer them for you, hopefully. Be able to find them by doing some research frantically. <laughs> um, Frantic scrolling. Yeah, but in terms of spec, it's got loads of stuff on it as standard. So you can choose and add bits on it as you want to do it yourself make it to make it more personalised. But it's a standard van. If it was your first van or you wanted to, to build something off the back of it, it's just really, really good value for money. I was really, really impressed. So we hope you found the video useful. It was the first chance to see the new model. Um, we were very lucky to be able to see it. So massive thanks to Auto Trail for letting us come and have a look at it while we're over there. So I really appreciate that. Yes, thank um, you, but sorry I missed it. Yeah, um, hopefully if you liked the videos, please click the links to subscribe below and, and click like and leave us a comment. And obviously the more subscribers we get, the more chance we get to do reviews on vans. So we're hoping to be able to actually do a proper review on vans soon. We'll be able to take them away and stay in them and give you a proper user yeah. review. Um, but this one was brand new, not even registered yet, just uh, fresh on the forecourt. Yeah, so, so will you put the website link below so they can see Yes, I'll put the link the below website. so you can see it in the, in the box below. So yeah, um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, hopefully, say, we'll bring you some lots more videos soon. And we'll see you in the next video on our travels very soon. Bye for now. Bye. What do you think of the new van, Molly? Did you like it? Is it something you'd like to go away in? Do you like mountain biking? You like mountain biking in the forest, don't you? Oh yeah. In a camper van? Do you like it in the forest? <laughs> Going on your Molly days? Yeah. Right, get off. <laughs> Molly's holidays equals Molly days. Yay. Coming soon. <laughs>